Good morning. Are you about to lung lover? Do you like the little tanks, clear misers? Are you quitting smoking? Well, I got sent a little tank from a little company that I'd never heard of called Vapely, and it's called right here the Nicholas tank. It's a clear miser, and stick around. We're going to look at it today live. Bring a cup of coffee, please, and your vape. The Vape Fly Nicholas MTL Flavor Tank on Vape AM. And that isn't focused. How irritating is that? There we go. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I hope you have a cup of coffee and you're comfortable and you're vape. And thank you for tuning in. This is Saturday morning on Juicy Jones HQ. I'm Juicy Jones. I help you get further, faster with your vapes. And this morning, we're going to look at this Vape Fly Clearmizer. I really like this. I want to thank Heaven Gifts for sending this thing to review. I didn't ever really notice this thing. I might have bought it on Curiosity if they hadn't sent it. So it's cool. There's a link for it down in the description. That link is an affiliate link, so it helps the channel if you click on it. So if you're going to buy one, click on that. Won't cost you any more, but they send something to me. Uh, I want to say good morning to everybody in the chat. You guys are awesome. It's Saturday morning. We're hanging out together. Jamie Glazer, Chili Dog. People have been crazy on chat here. It's great. We see the return of April Miller. It's so great to see you. Michaela, Zach Schaefer also. Chili Dog. Bonjour, Monsieur. And I can't read all these names. I can look at the participant. I love all y'all. And uh, be sure to click on like and subscribe. We're here every Saturday morning for this show, Vaping Dawn at Dusk, which I've actually turned this into Vape AM because I forgot to book a guest this weekend so sorry uh and every wednesday morning at six o'clock a.m on uh for vape a.m that's my review show so you guys review uh click on the subscribe button um and michaela's telling me that it's buffering but it's hmm, i don't know what's going on it does look a little weird well i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stop it and start it why not here we go. It's fantastic to see all y'all. So I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but I love my little mouth to lung tank. And if you're here live uh, in the chat, let me know if you use a mount to lung tank or even a little sub ohm tank and what it is and what your favorite is. If you're watching on the replay, just reply to us in the chat like anything else. It's fine. Well, you know, I reply to all these chats anyway. Um, I want to remind everybody also that we're doing a giveaway for the Cheetah 2, so check out the Cheetah 2 video, and I'll try to put a card up here later to remind y'all who are watching it on the replay. And also, it's been a busy week. We got the Creus, which I opened up on Instagram, and uh, also the AIM-9 RDA from AS Vape and several others, so stay tuned. We have a lot of stuff going on. And three videos this week, that was a lot. Uh, Josh is here. Great to see you. Alex, Henrik Hansen. Great to see everybody. You guys are awesome. So this is my collection of, let me turn this little graphic off. This is my collection of, uh, oops, of mouth to lung tanks right here. And you'll notice that a lot of these, I'll turn on my cube, a lot of these are sort of like Trying to focus up here. A lot of these are rebuildable. Have you noticed that? So I rebuild a lot of these, and the ones that are actually used coils that are decent. This is the Nautilus 2, and this is one of the ones from Joytech. I probably have four or five of these. I'll turn on the little baby, the baby cam, so you guys can see me. Hi, everybody. Um, and so there aren't that many of these right now. It's always the Nautilus 2, mainly because you can get these coils anywhere, and it has a good flow. You guys have seen my review. Check out the review for yourself. But I got this, and I have I love all these devices. I've got these one battery devices I use for my mouth to lung. I carry these to work mainly. And when I'm sitting around the house, I don't do this so much, except maybe when I'm gaming. But and my favorite one, the Dove Po Ember. Um, but the truth is, when I'm when I'm at work, I use these almost all the time. 
and I just dig it so much. So I got another one here. It's pretty cool. I'm going to open the box for you here, and then we're going to build it and vape on it. I've been vaping on this for weeks, and I just cleaned it and put it in the box so you get like an out-of-a-box experience. And I have to tell you the truth. I dig this thing, and I want to open it and vape on it. I always vape on this thing so far. My daily vape is the Harvey by Mountain Oak Vapors. These are cool guys and gals there. This is a honey bourbon. It has a little bit of a bite and a lung hit and a throat hit, so that's why I like it. Um, this be the box. Let me get a focus link that works here for this, if you guys are interested. Because we're going to open this up pretty quick. It's a clearomizer, so it's not a huge deal. But um, the things that are cool about this are that it's got a, like a little press fit coil that is like, you don't have to screw it in. And why am I talking about it? Let's just go over it. It's a pretty ordinary white box. These guys are available at vapefly.net. They don't even have a Facebook page or an Instagram, which is a little strange for me, so, but it's awesome that they're kind of new maybe, or they've been in, maybe they've been an OEM for somebody else for a while. Uh, there's a description, what's in there, a little scratch and sniff. And let's open her up. Ooh, yeah, silica gel, don't need this. Uh, there's an instruction manual that I would call adequate. It goes over all of the basic features and how to disassemble it, etc. I'm sorry if this is a little bit crooked. I'm actually going in reverse here. And uh, so um, this actually I found pretty adequate. Some of these, sometimes they fail here. And there's the actual atomizer. Let's look at the kit here just so you can see what they include. Um, and it's I consider this entire thing adequate. They, they include the basic everything you need. But I want to give them a little bit of credit. They include extra glass. They include two coils. A 1.8 ohm coil and a 0.6 ohm sub ohm coil and replacement o-rings and gaskets and stuff i'm going to put this back in there and keep the coil out and we're going to pull out the tank i mean a little bit of a spoiler alert i've been using the nautilus mini or the nautilus 2 for so long um that i think that you know maybe the nautilus mini might be slightly better even though it's hideously ugly but for an up-to-date tank, I absolutely adore this little guy. I really do. Let me get a better view on the camera. And I shall also adjust the focus for you so you can see it. Somewhere. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, this guy... It's, it's simple, but it's cool. First of all, it's got an airflow that can be adjusted, they say, nine ways. And the way they count that is that it has five holes here and then a unique little extra hole here. So basically, you can dial in a full five holes here or four holes or three or two or one. So that's five different ways. Or you can keep rotating this. And then this will line up with them. So you see, oops, I'll get back and focus. You see now you have a sixth option, which is only the largest hole. And a seventh option, which is the next largest. And then eight and nine. And the last one doesn't count, obviously, because you can you can always just isolate the one if you want to. I'm sorry I went a little bit off camera there. I'm imperfect, y'all. It's an imperfect world. So this is cool. You can dial in a very particular type of airflow in here without using adapters or anything, and that's pretty groovy. Um, the other thing you'll notice is that replacing the coils is super easy. You unscrew the bottom here. And then look, it's just a little tray with the airflow and the 510. And here, there is a press fit. You just pull it out. That's it. That's how you replace coils on this thing. And I'll put in the other coil. I actually prefer the 0.6, but the 1.8 is also good. We'll have to talk about whether the 0.8 is perfect for quitters or not. It, the airflow is pretty high for a 1.8, but I enjoy it quite a bit. That's the 0.6. And this is completely independent of what's in the tank. The tank is still pretty well sealed off. It will completely leak out if you hold it upside down like this. But as far as a changing operation goes, and 
as far as keeping this like pretty low profile, like they've done a damn good job of keeping this thing with just not a lot of metal. I like this thing quite a bit. Um, and so I'm going to screw that back in there so it's tight. And then they've got a 510 here, which this is this goes on record as being one of the only 510s for an atomizer that I've gotten that I actually like. I use this. You guys all know that I always replace these with a Petri 510 because I'm just that's my favorite thing. But this one, I actually really like it. It's got a slight dome on the top here and top fill. These are the things that make it better than my Nautilus too and um, it doesn't leak or overflow or it, it does have a gurgling if you fill it all 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 the way up just like any of the clear misers it gurgles but not too much um, and as far as usability goes day-to-day -day usability goes this thing is just amazing watch I'll screw it here down on my Dovepo ember which is so well used as you can see it's like I use this thing like crazy um, and we'll put some e-liquid into it. I'm going to put some the Harvey into it. Some the Harvey. It's got like I think three mil of capacity and I believe that there is a European version available for the TPD. These things are about $24 on Heaven Gifts. I mean, they are inexpensive. Um, and the coils are available. That's one of the things that I always worry about with you guys is selling you on something that I love where you just can't get coils. And that's not like... I've already ordered a box of replacement coils for these and they shipped yesterday. I ordered them yesterday and they shipped yesterday. So thanks Heaven Gifts for doing that quickly. They don't do any favors for me, by the way. I simply log in like you and me or anyone else and place an order and pay for it and have this stuff shipped. So, uh, I'm impressed. So, the flavor on this thing, right now, my airflow, I'm going to put it on four holes. And this is the 0.3 ohm. I'm sorry, this is the 0.6 ohm coil. And so, I'm going to put it on 20 watts. Mm, the coil is still, is still, uh, I didn't prime it, so I have to wait for just a second. Mmm, flavor, flavor, it's tasty. That's really good. Yeah, I really dig this thing. Oh my gosh, I just turned it up to like 28 watts, I didn't mean to do that. Flavor on this is really good. But let me show you how to change the coils. The coil changing is really cool. I just wanted to like do a little bit of vaping with that coil and then trade it out and then show you how easy it is. Looks like I screwed that down too hard. Jesse, you screwed it too hard. There we go. So when you change the coils, all you have to do is pop that out. Oops. And you could use tweezers if you want to. I, of course, have not. And I'll put this coil in here. Don't forget to prime your coils. I'll show you exactly how to do that. All you have to do is put just a couple of drops of e-liquid in here. You don't need a lot. And then just wipe a little around the outside. You really don't need whole drops. It, you'll be surprised. And then give that just a few seconds to sort of steep in there and then as you go screw it back down make sure that you prime it the very first time that you put them in there always do that and then give it a few seconds give it 45 seconds give it 30 seconds it's not going to kill you we traded up to the 1.8 ohm coil so let me just have the atomizer adjust it there we go and i'm going back to 20 watts all right let's go back up hey there Let's open the air first. So what do I like? I like four holes of air. Yeah. 
It's so satisfying. It's like got a big, good vape. You know, I realized that I burnt the crap out of this coil, and that's the reason why I ordered another one. So the vape on that was really thin and wasn't working. You know, it wasn't just that it wasn't primed. I just realized that when I put the 1.8 back in. So I've got more 0.6s coming. It was one of those cases where this always happens with my mouth to lung stuff. You're sitting there watching TV or using the computer or whatever, and you're vaping and vaping, and you forget that it's only a three mil tank, and you vape that last time, and it's burnt out. Uh, so then you have to replace the coil. So I ordered some new ones. The new ones are only about $6 a box, $7 a box. They're not very expensive. So all in all, this was a little bit of a pleasant surprise for me. I'm going to do a video that compares it to the, the Nautilus 2 um, and whatever else is on my desk, including a couple of rebuildables. And I'm going to try to get a Kabuki, which is a little expensive, but it's supposedly the best atomizer that uses the Aspire BBC coils. And the only real con to this thing is that it uses non-Aspire coils. In other words, you can't buy them in every gas station in the world. But if you have access to mail order, this is great if you like Mount Delong, I think. It's inexpensive. It has good flavor. It has press fit coils, so you don't have to screw or worry about if they're going to get stuck in there. Um, it's got replacement glass. The airflow can be dialed down real low, which is cool. Here's one hole. Yeah, I mean, if I were vaping nine, that would be a real hit. So to me, this is a good solution for someone who's quitting because it's inexpensive. You can buy more coils, get the 1.8s definitely if you're quitting and get very high nick. Um, it's also suitable for somebody who wants to quit, who wants a little bit more air than the most restricted air um, mouth to lung kits. So I'm sorry, I couldn't think of the word there for a second of what we're talking about. So I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this thing. It doesn't get too hot. It takes little skinny 510s really well. The 510 that came with it's good. I, I, I'm sort of pleasantly surprised. Uh, if you guys are down with it, give it a shot. There it is with my Aspire drip tip on it. Absolutely love it. So cute. Yeah, there's not enough nick in here for it to be for that to be a real satisfying hit for me. So, but if you have higher nick, it certainly would be. And it's just a good, satisfying vape. Also, the Harvey's really good. I really like it. If you guys go to mountainoakvapor.com, don't forget to use the code Juicy Jones HQ. They give you a discount. So, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about this review. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. Tell me what you think in the comments. Talk to me about your mount to lung setups and what kind of e-liquid you use also in these things with your high nicks. And we're going to continue here and have more of a discussion live for just a few minutes after this. But I want to thank all of you who tuned into the live show. I'm Juicy Jones, and this is Juicy Jones Orbital Vaping Headquarters, Juicy Jones HQ. Be sure to join us on Instagram, which let me find my cool stinger. Do I have one of those? Yeah. That's not Instagram Juicy Jones HQ. That's not the correct stinger, but that is the correct, the correct address. And uh, we do live stuff all the time. And don't forget that pretty soon here, we're going to be doing a giveaway for the Envy Fit kit, which is a really cool new quit kit for quitters, quitting kit for quitters that has little refillable pods for you. And uh, that's courtesy of the Electronic Tobacconist in, uh, I think, London. I'll find out the details soon, though, but stay tuned. It's going to be over Instagram and YouTube and everything else. And um, otherwise, I just thank you for tuning in. I love all you guys. Thanks a lot. And keep on vaping. And by the way, that was just for the sake of the screen, too, because uh, we're going to keep talking. We're still live. I haven't, I'm not turning off the broadcast. Don't go anywhere. But uh, I just want to tell you guys that that was just so that I can cut it off during the live thing earlier. It'll be kind of encapsulated for those people who want to edit it down or whatever. So looks like April's talking about her twisted messes. By the way, I missed what you guys said in chat about your mount to lung setup. So I'm going to rewind a little bit here and check it out. What were you guys saying? Do you guys care about Mount Along here in the live chat? Let's see. Let's 
Let's see. I can't find it. <laughs> We're talking about coffee in the live chat, which is the most important thing in the world. That's killer. That's funny. Well, I completely agree with that. Jesus. I couldn't agree more. Sweet coffee eases the pain. I love this stuff. Well, one of the, another thing I want to do is a chocolate comparison for you guys, because I have uh, several chocolates here recently. I have Zanzibar. I've got this really great um, muffin, or I'm sorry, Ninja Man, which is by iJoy, actually. I think iJoy owns Sengoku Vapor, and um, it used to be Entourage Vapor, and the truth is, this is great. <laughs> it's like milky chocolate milk. Um, and Zanzibar is more of a pastry, and I've also got that custard one that we got from Mountain Oak Vapor. This is really good. So I wanted to do one day all three of those together with you guys. It'd be kind of fun. Hey, Laura. Great to see you. Hey, Orbital Joe. Orbital Joe can't deal with not too long anymore. Jeremy Keeks wants an MTL setup. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I mean, I definitely crave some more, uh, some more like volume of vape sometimes. And other times, you know, I just need my maintenance nicotine and I, and I raise it up. At work, like I said, I, I vape three, maybe six sometimes and uh, in these little mouth to lung setups. And then on break, I go outside when I have a few minutes and sit outside and vape on, you know, something bigger, like my captain's sub ohm tank, which I've got. Yeah, Steve Archer says he enjoyed the review, but he's not a fan of the press fit coils. But ease of use gets people off cigarettes. That's all good. Yeah, I agree. Although I'm, I'm, I must say I'm neutral about press fit coils on principle. I don't see any reason why not to have press fit coils. You know what I mean? Um, because the base on this is secure; it's not going anywhere. So that's okay. It has a cage inside too, so that that satisfies me. Um, but I am always always skeptical of everyone's coils because we know that like the vape industry is like the printer industry they get you to spend twenty dollars on the tank but what they really get you is they want you to buy years worth of coils so there's really two big questions is that company going to be around to keep making those coils and providing them and are they affordable and i'm sorry there are three big questions will the company be around are they affordable and do they last and have good flavor so um in this case, I've been satisfied so far on the flavor, definitely. And I'm satisfied on the longevity. They, they, until I vaped it dry, the thing functioned perfectly. And, you know, these things, you know, they are obviously, you know, they succumb to all kinds of variations and problems with manufacturing and stuff. So that's a deal, too. Hey, Sammy Joe. It's great to see you. Good morning, gal. Yeah, so, but uh, so far, I like it. Dame Trevor says, saline trick to a good chocolate vape made Nutella mix for cousin. What is the saline for? My salt. What does it do? I'm not sure I want to vape salt. Although... I ingest salt all the time. Still, is it safe to breathe? Definitely safe to ingest. I love salt. <laughs> That's a very good question. Hey, Robbie Harkless, great to see you. I'm just so pleasantly surprised about the flavor on these. They really, I mean, to me, they really just set their eyes on the Nautilus 2, and they were like, what's wrong with the Nautilus 2? Well, it doesn't have bottom airflow. It's tough to change the coils, and you lose all your liquid every time you change it. They really addressed all three of those things. Um, my uh, sweet Aileen is in, uh, is in Connecticut right now, and I'm not sure exactly what state they're in. They might be in Delaware, or Connecticut, but they're doing a funeral for her grandmother. And I want to wish them all the love and support and compassion that a guy can have for his family that he loves so much. And they are trading stories and burying their wonderful matriarch. She was a um, immigrant from Armenia during the genocide when the Turks murdered two and a half million people and they still deny it to this day but her family was one of those people he her grandfather saw his parents beheaded in the street in front of their house 
and they had to basically walk to the United States. One of them went to a, an orphanage in Paris. One of them, I believe, died in London, and another one came here to the U.S. And here we are, and I have a beautiful, wonderful woman that I love dearly. And it makes me sad that Turkey um, is trying to buy everyone's everyone's uh, ignorance. They're trying to they're trying to build a country that looks so fashionable and invest so much in infrastructure and all this stuff. And meanwhile, they just stopped teaching evolution in school. They had a coup last year where the the president Erdogan completely made up a coup and then killed about 10 or 20,000 people that were his enemies, including civil servants and stuff. And uh, these people are just bad people and they continue to tell lies. So until that's over, um, I wish them, I wish the people of Turkey to uh, be aware that their government is really hardcore lying to them. And it is a mystery why. It's a fact of history that this happened and Hitler himself wrote about how much he admired the Turkish genocide, the Armenian genocide, and how he was going to copy it, key fact, key pieces of it for his genocide of the Jews. It's in Mein Kampf. You can read that. Um, anyway, I apologize. I went on a little rant there. But I love Turkish people, but their government is evil. And it's kind of like the United States. Great people. Evil government. <laughs> We share that, but I have a personal connection to Armenia and Turkey, and uh, that's why. And America, too. I know it's crap here. So anyway, so enough of that stuff. Um, I'm curious, but I'm curious about what the health ramifications of vaping saline are, though. Like, I've never heard of anyone adding saline, and, you know, that may be a thing, but I would be very wary of anything except for the ingredients I kind of know about. I know about PG and fruit flavors and stuff. Um, just, just curious, though. Ooh, Alex has his Noisy Cricket 2 and iJoy Combo RDTA. And by the way, have you guys been looking at my Instagram? Because where is it? Where is it? Panic! I put everything that I didn't, that I wasn't going to use for the broadcast today somewhere else. And I can't find it, but I'm looking at the Creus. The Creus is great, y'all. I really dig the Creus. It's an RDTA from from OBS and it's pretty good. I've been vaping on it since solid gold. What the hell did I do with it? I'm so embarrassed. Whatever. I'll, you'll be seeing it. But uh, but it's pretty darn cool. I've been, yeah, I've been totally, I've been vaping on that. I've been vaping on these RDAs, the AIM-9. Last night I did a live AIM-9 unboxing on Instagram. Yeah. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And that was pretty cool. You can see that for one more day. Uh, and this thing is pretty nice, actually. It's got a big deck, and it is a bottom airflow RDA with adjustable airflow. And it's also sitting over in the kitty. What did I do with you? That's it right there. It's real good. Sammy Joe, is the Creus and the other OBS you reviewed easier to build? The Creus isn't easier to build, I don't think. I mean, I think you could do it, but it's... I wouldn't call it easy. Because I know that you're not sight... I think your sight is bad, so... I personally could do it blindfolded, but I've got the benefit of having seen it. And, uh, I mean, it's just another RDTA, like the Limitless. I mean, honestly, but the difference is the outside ring doesn't unscrew, so there's just holes in the deck. So it's it's more like the avocado. So, yeah, you could do it. Yeah. The answer is solid yes, Sammy Joe. Thank you for asking. That's a good question. So it's 5.30 in the UK, kicking back with a couple of whiskey and Cokes and a decent toffee sauce liquid. Been catching up with the channel. Thanks, Steve Archer. That's really nice of you, man. I appreciate it. Tell your friends. Our two-year anniversary is coming up here, and I'm trying to arrange some stuff to do. And if you have ideas, you let me know, too. I'm just dripping some of this chocolate milk from Sengoku Vapor into my AIM-9. 
And what is this, 80 watts? Hey, Robert Milner, it's great to see you. The difference between the, the, the OBS Creus has two and a half. Hey, Alex, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Look at that. Alex Morris sent a dollar to the Super Chat. You are the greatest thing ever. Thank you so much. That is a huge deal. I really appreciate that. You should know that's probably four times what I'll make on this video over the next six months. So thank you so much. You just made this worth my day. So I really appreciate that. I know it doesn't seem like much, but I know that uh, it's a big deal for you and it's a big deal for me too. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Um, it's cool that it pops it up too. And I wonder if I, I don't have the, I don't have the, there's a problem with the plugin for the live chat that shows the chat, the, the super chat. So I still have that plugin. I'm trying to get it to work. And it was much more fun because when we're chatting and we have that on, the super chat shows up. And if you give to the super chat, it shows it on the screen, but it's broken. So we'll get that working again. It was way cooler. Uh, April is asking, Oh, Leighton says he loves the Goblin 3 right now. That's interesting. I, I'm a big Goblin fan. I never actually bought one, but it was the first RTA I ever wanted. I ever bought it. I couldn't afford it at the time, but that's cool. It comes with two decks. April's asking, do I think a dual parallel 10 wrap would be too much for your limitless goal? What, what gauge are you talking about? Like, if you do a 10 wrap, I mean, you just have, you're just going to have to fit it in there. 10 sounds like a lot. Because a 10 wrap parallels 20 pieces of wire in length. And if that's not like 28, it's going to be tough to fit that in. But I don't know how big your limitless gold is. It's, is it, is that the square one? You got to remind me, sorry. What is the zoom room for two years? I don't know what a zoom room is. Oh, you mean do a Zoom chat? Yeah, sure. That'd be great. Do a Hangout, Zoom Hangout. We could do it on a peer in maybe. Zoom, I think Zoom lets me have 20 people. But what is the, what is the gauge of the wire, April? Is it, uh... yeah, it must be a five rad parallel. So that's 10 total. Yeah, 10, I think it's too wide. A five rad would be excellent. A try for seven. If you can fit a seven wrap parallel 26 in there, that's, oh, thank you so much, Josh. Dude, you're awesome too, fist bump, boom. Josh, Josh, our buddy, who was on vaping dawn to dusk here a couple of weeks ago. I'll put a card up there, but uh, he's awesome. Uh, 26 gauge, if you're doing parallels, do, yeah, do seven or eight. Seven is really good. That's seven, a 26 parallel seven wrap was one of my first favorite builds. That's like flavor for days. I still do that. I still do that. And I put 26 single gauges into, you know, is that what I've got in the Serpent RDTA right now? Maybe something like that. It's like a little 35 watt vape. Um, thanks again, both you guys. You guys are heroes. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I'm a big fan of 26, and I think 10, you won't fit in there, but if you can, and honestly, it's going to start burning out in the middle, and it's going to be tough to thread, so you'd be real happy with 6 to 8, for damn sure. Well, if you used to do parallel 10 wraps, then yeah. it's. I mean, it, even at 3 millimeters, that seems really, really, really wide to me, but shit, if it worked, then yeah, definitely. It's funny, James Rivera says he likes helixes and tigers. And it's interesting, too, because I actually don't like those vapes because they're too spitty for me. Um, and I barely like framed. It's when we get into frames and helixes and tigers and that kind of stuff where you start losing me because they just get too wet. Um, and I like a denser, smoother, more cloudy vape that I get off Aliens, even though the clouds aren't as good as Clapton's. Clapton's are probably the best actual clouds out of all of the different things, just because of the physics of, you know, how it works. For me, Alien is my sweet spot. But that's cool. It's a lesson for all you guys. Everybody's different. There's all kinds of different stuff out there. Yeah. And Sammy Joe's saying that, you know, just making the point that if you're wrapping up, if you can, if one's buying wire 
to build, you can also buy pre-rolled Clempton wire or whatever and roll that up into little, like one of my favorite builds is a little dual, I think it's just a, a 28 with 32 wrapped around it, wire that I wrapped into two seven wraps and put onto a velocity and that came out to like point six five or something and oh man i love that vape it tasted so good great airflow on the velocity smooth airflow is the big deal steve Burch is saying what do i like on liquids cakes and desserts or fruit person cakes and desserts cakes and desserts cakes and desserts that's me my favorite ones are cakes and desserts i do like some fruits but not too many of them um but for example one of my favorite vapes is tiramisu by van gogh vapes and look at the size of this bottle so that is that proof that's an almost empty 100, 240 milliliter bottle of tiramisu. Um, and Eaton Mess. This is the end of my second bottle of Eaton Mess this year that I've gotten, which is a strawberry meringue creme fraiche. It's so good. Um, and for pure fruits, the only people who make pure fruits that I actually like are Van Gogh vapes. Really. Josh, happy birthday to the gal. I missed that, that it's her birthday. There it is. Happy birthday. And thanks so much. You guys are great. You guys vape on. I'm going to keep vaping on my vape fly, Nicholas. I love this thing. And I'm just looking at chat here. What I should be doing, I wish the chat plugin were working this morning because we could just have this chat scroll by for everybody. Alex says he likes desserts and breakfast over fruity flavors himself. I am told, I understand that fruit flavors are the most popular flavors and that people like them best. So I think that we're in a little bit of a minority. Um, I don't take it personally. It's just how people are. Oh, Sammy Joe says, thanks for the link to Van Gogh vapes. The cannoli is terrific. Yes, that cannoli. Do you know what my next 240 is? Cannoli. And this tiramisu is amazing. But the cannoli is amazing. Oh, good. Thanks. Happy birthday, Josh. His girl said thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Josh is great. Make sure you go watch the episode of him hanging out. You guys will be just shocked at what a cool guy that guy is. He's one of the coolest guys ever. Um, Avery Little says she likes the punch box by Limitless. It's pretty yummy. Yes. And that's the thing is that some of the most popular flavors this summer are the new menthols and all the fruit flavors. Uh, that have come out. I know you guys have noticed them, and it's funny because I'm a little bit left out. Now, I do like them. Like, for example, Van Gogh Vape sent their um, Cactus Django, and I think it's actually good, but I don't crave it, and I don't really treat it as an all-day vape. My One of my favorites is Faluda. This got canceled. I'm so sad. Please focus. Faluda is really, by far and away, one of my favorite vapes. This is a rose cardamom milkshake. Um, on top of everything, it tastes like a milkshake. And then you get this little bit of rose and cardamom. It's really amazing. I could vape this all universe ever. It smells good. It tastes good. It's so all day, every day. Get this. Don't forget, if you go to Van Gogh Vapes, by the way, use the code Juicy Jones HQ. They give you a discount on their already cheap Canadian prices. The exchange rate with the United States is very good. And they ship internationally, everywhere in the world. So the, one of the reasons I love Van Gogh, and I'm so happy that they sponsor us, is that they can ship anywhere. They're not from America, so they can do whatever. Yeah, to me, it's all about, oh my God, it's vapor flow. Sammy Joe, she says that she's down to half a bottle of her cannoli. That, this stuff is crack. It is so good. It's got this dark, delicious, where's my bottle of cannoli? There it is. Oh, I didn't open it. Mmm. 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 Looks like James is vaping a 0.55 Juggernaut in his mutation V3. Yeah, 8.5 volts is too hot for me. It just makes my tongue numb. Oh my god, that smells so good. Love the mutation though, that's good. Looks like Jeremy Fuchs has three 180s coming from Swag Sauce. That's cool. Blueberry muffin, Stifler's Mom. Yum. I got my Stifler's Mom right here too. Love this stuff. Oh, that smells so good. All their vapes kind of smell like butter to me. Um, 
Yeah, Michaela, you have to just surf because the prices are all over the map. Like everything is different. And I'll tell you guys too that um, you have to. Uh, they're just about to update the International Delights lines and a couple of other with new labels too. So I should have some new stuff coming. But um, I think the full nine bottle International Delight it's going to change because it's going to change because they they decided to change the line from nine bottles to five. So it's going to go down in price. Uh, Alex likes a glazed donut with raspberry type filling. Yeah, me too. If you find another good one of those, make sure that you link that in the Facebook group or on Facebook forward slash groups forward slash Juicy Jones. Um, because that's good. Yeah, Alex Morris mentions that graffiti donuts is good too. I've got a review of that on my channel actually. I have a lot of AZ Swag Sauce reviews on my channel. They send a lot of stuff. Alex Morris has his Stifler's mom there. Hey, Francesca, it's great to see you. Yeah, Swag Sauce is killer. They're, they're, honestly, their prices are the best thing about them. They're, they're vape, their vapes are not... I mean, I love them, and I don't want them to take this the wrong way, definitely. But the truth is that their the quality of their vapes is just not quite as high as something like Van Gogh. Like, Van Gogh's are basically unimpunable. Like, I've got absolutely no... There's nothing to say about Van Gogh. Everything about them is the highest quality, almost, that there is in the industry as far as their attention to detail and the flavors and the crafting and everything they do. And they don't throw away money on dumb packaging, but they, they make the best, best flavors. And Swag Sauce is good, and there's tons of flavors I like, but it, it's but it's true that you have to steep the flavors when you get them, and they're not good. They're not as good when you get them as if you wait two or three weeks. It's also true that the flavors change sometimes, and you can you can fall in love with the flavor and then order two bottles of it, and then the third time and maybe the fourth time they'll be different. You'll be like, huh, Graffiti Donuts was one of those flavors for me, or it changed. Um, so. Having said that, I love them. Their prices are great. They're super nice people. They're amazing. I think I th definitely think we should patronize them and go and buy stuff from them. I think they're great. But you just have to keep that in mind. Um, that the experience that you have with them is just not quite up there. And uh, I just um, just kind of just kind of say that uh, because they're busy or whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter why. They're nice people and they're great. They have a cool outfit. They're a retail organization out of Arizona and they work hard to have lots of flavors and do great things and get people what they want. So. I'm definitely not complaining about those guys. I think they're great. But that's been my experience with the flavor. Almost all the time. Yeah, and yeah, you know, there's some agreement with the uh, with the crowd too. And one of the one of the things that I, I get is I, I get a lot of questions about having to steep A Z swag sauce and how flavors change and it just it's such a lot. Um so and, oh, if you guys want custom coils, uh, you guys know that one of the friends of the family here is coil underscore lab on Instagram. And he sells all over Ontario. I'm not sure he has a retail website going yet, but, oh, my God, that guy's so industrious. And I'm going to totally help him or try to help him push some coils once he gets a web presence going. But he's in every store in Ontario. And um, he's awesome. Love that guy. So it looks like in the UK, there's hardware stores and the equivalent of dollar stores selling bad e-liquid for small change. Oh, that's horrible. That's terrible. I mean, that's a, that's a good case for regulation to get people like that out of the business. It ought to be in some kind of place that's designed to help people quit smoking and work on that. Not just, I don't think it, it'd be nice to have standardized products in drug stores and stuff, but it needs to be controlled. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh, Vape Flow with Sammy Joe. I don't know anything about the hardware and stuff they sell. I know that they're a retail store, so I'm sure that you can order hardware from them. They're, they have a chain of stores in Arizona, so I wouldn't I wouldn't hesitate to order hardware if you want to from them. Sure, why not? I don't know anything about their own name brand, RDA. Um, but, you know, I would say, sure, why not? I, could, I have no reason to avoid that stuff. I, they are a retail outfit, so they they have the hardware. Yeah. Oh, and April Mose says she didn't like the pumpkin. Yeah, you know, I didn't try the pumpkin. I wonder why I didn't. It seems weird of me not to try that one. Hmm. I'm so boring. I love Buttercracker. And Buttercracker is supposed to be like... Um, it's supposed to be like a custard, and it tastes a little bit like that, but it, all, it just tastes like a butter cookie to me. Um, 
And I almost forgot, one that kind of started growing on me is Maui Waui milk. Maui Waui milk is like a coconut with a little bit of strawberry. Not really that much strawberry, to be honest, but like a little bit of coconut and strawberry and milk. And it's good. It's really good. I'm down with it. Oh, I have to mute for a second because I have to sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm so glad I muted that. I hope you didn't hear it anyway. I hope I did mute. Um, so, yeah, I love the Maui Waui milk. In fact, it's in the other room, half empty. They sent me four bottles. I'm going to do a review of three of them. And I'm going to do a little gang up thing and uh, do those three. And I, I like one of them. I like one of them. And I don't really like the, the third one. Um, yeah, that was a big sneeze. My dog is sleeping. So, I want you guys to have a great weekend. You guys tell me what you guys are doing. Thanks for the thumbs up and everything. Don't forget, if you just tuned in, I'm Eli Juicy Jones. This is Orbital Vaping Headquarters, helping you go further, faster vaping. We totally looked at, reviewed the Vape Fly Nicholas Mount Lung flavor tank, which has great flavor. And if you like these videos, subscribe, please. And don't forget to click on the little bell, because if you click on the bell, it'll give you notifications when I go live. And I'm trying to add a Monday night stream, too. Although three days a week might be a little much. We'll see. I don't know. Don't know if I can handle that. Do I have one of these? Yeah, look at that. We're on YouTube. Did you do not HQ? I love that little thing. Got one of these too. Do find me on Instagram. Did you do not HQ? Lots of stuff going on, on Instagram. Believe me. Sammy Joe says he hasn't tried the Maui Maui milk because of the strawberry. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty weak. Um, in my, I think it is. I like it, though. It doesn't, because it doesn't taste like eating mess, and it doesn't taste like the strawberry creme de la crema from, from Mountain Oaks. It, ta it tastes a little bit coconut and strawberry -y. I really appreciate it. You guys are all so great. Let's take off here. Let's have a nice day. Hey, Big Natty. How are you, man? It's so nice to see you. You got me right at the end here. It's good to see you, dude. Um, remember, stay tuned because to the channel, we're doing an Envy Fit giveaway. That was cool. Don't forget that if you're interested in these little uh, What's a Medoules, <laughs> the Nicholas from Vapefly, there's a link to the Heaven Gifts thing down there. And when I get my new coils in, which I've already ordered, they ship today. They'll be here probably in a couple of weeks. Um, I'll let you guys know right away because I want to go through a few of them. I've already gone through two of these. But I love this thing. Um, and what else? We got all kinds of reviews coming from OBS. We did the Cheetah 2. Got the Captain coming. The PD270 mod. You guys see me rocking that. So you guys stay tuned. Plus a few RDAs. Come to the Facebook group. Forward slash. Groups forward slash Juicy Jones. And you guys are awesome. Let's vape out together. I'm going to vape on my little Nicholas. On my The Harvey from Mountain Oak Vapors. Thank you so much.